let us solve one more problem on pair of straight lines based on the concept homogenizing or homogenization so that means first we have to make a plan to solve this problem so that means let us devise a plan so that plan has to be executed later while solving the problem first let us have a discussion on the plan first given equation of the curve we have to mention and given equation of the line that should be put as in the form of LHS is equal to 1. So then already if you observe in the given equation of the curve the first three terms will be in homogeneous equation in terms of or homogeneous function in terms of two variables x and y itself only but whereas the next x y term are to be homogenized and constant term has to be homogenized. So that means with the help of the line so we have to homogenize the curve and after that we get a combined equation of the line which passes through the origin. You know that that will be in the form of a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0. Since it represents a pair of straight lines we can find out the angle between the pair of lines using the cos theta formula or tan theta formula. Suppose if sin cos theta is equal to 0 theta becomes 90 degrees that means the pair of lines represents two perpendicular lines they are mutually they are perpendicular. So that means the converse of the statement is if the two lines are mutually perpendicular here that means theta need to be actually 90 degrees. So as we have the cos theta formula that is modulus of a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4 h square as they are perpendicular the cos 90 is 0 so mod of a plus b by root of a minus b whole square plus 4 h square become 0 so mod of a plus b is 0 that means a plus b is equal to 0 means what does a represent and what does b represent a represent coefficient of x square am i correct b represent the coefficient of y square so that means if the two lines are mutually perpendicular the one important case will arise so that is nothing but coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to 0. So that means with the help of this concept so this problem can be cracked. So first let me read the statement of the question. So after that we shall solve the problem by homogenizing and by applying the condition coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square is equal to 0. So first here yes, observe find the value of k if the lines joining the origin with the points of intersection of the curve 2x square minus 2xy plus 3y square plus 2x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0 and the line x plus 2y is equal to k are mutually perpendicular. So that means the equation of the curve has to be homogenized with the equation of the line so as to get the combined equation of the two lines that is nothing but a pair of straight lines. So first let us homogenize the curve with the line. Now let us start the problem. Given equation of the curve. equation of the curve is okay, 2x square minus 2xy plus 3y square plus 2x minus y minus 1 equals to 0. Say equation 1 this is for our convenience. So now equation of the line is x plus 2y equals to k. Now divide both sides by k. So that means we get divide both sides by k we get like this 
x plus 2 y by k equals to k by k understood. So, next we can write x by k plus 2 by k times y is equal to 1 say this equation 2. Now, with the help of equation 2, homogenizing with the help of equation 2, the equation 1 can be homogenized 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 as follows as follows or in the following manner as follows so that means we need to rewrite the equation of the curve without changing its identity so now this is 2x square minus 3xy plus 3y square. So, this part is already is homogeneous part. This part is not homogeneous plus this can be written 2x minus y times 1 and minus 1 into 1 square equals to 0 right now. Just check observe it. This is very very important step. So, now here the 1 is replaced by this value can we replace. Similarly, here 1 also replaced by this value. So, let us replacing 1 for x by k plus 2 by k times y. So, now 2 x square minus 3 x y plus 3 y square plus 2 x minus y times x by k plus or directly we can write this one 2 y by k minus 1 times x by k plus 2 y by k whole square equals to 0. Just check it. In general, generally we do or in some test books you may find that. So, you multiply each and every term and you will square and you will get very big equation. You need not do like that. Simply you need two values the x square coefficient of this one and y square coefficient of this one that is enough. That means just we need to find out x square coefficient and y square coefficient as for the condition here see the mutually perpendicular. We need to add x square coefficient and y square coefficient and at is, that is being equated to 0 so as to get the k value that is all. So, that means now here we have to just pick up x square coefficient y square coefficient that is enough the problem becomes very easy. Let us write uh, x square coefficient. So, x square coefficient or coefficient of x square, better write on coefficient of x square, coefficient of x square equals to, here yes, see coefficient of x square is 2, 2 write on, here 2x into x by k, 2x square by k that means 2 by k from the second term we will get it. So, that is the now 2 by k understood now this is actually x square by k square x square by k square means 1 by k square will be the here x square coefficient but minus is there so we get minus 1 by k square once again i repeat here x square coefficient is 2 okay, 2 have written here x square coefficient is 2 into multiplied by 1 by k 2 by k. Here x square coefficient is minus 1 multiplied by 1 by k whole square is 1 by k square. So, we get minus 1 by k square enough that is all. x square coefficient have been determined. So, in the similar manner let us find out y square coefficient. Cannot we find out y square coefficient? 
why not we can find out so now coefficient of y square you might have expected isn't it now 3 ok first write on 3 next year minus multiplied by this 2k that will be the minus 2 by k next the minus 1 multiplied by 2 by k whole square it is very very important here that will be 4 by k square multiplied by minus 1. So, minus 4 by k square that will be the contribution from the third term to the coefficient of y square. So, that will be minus 4 by k square. See since this represents it is a combined equation of the two lines it is a pair of straight line mutually perpendicular that means here according to the problem according to the problem problem so it represents a pair of perpendicular lines or mutually perpendicular mutually perpendicular understood now so that means the converse of the statement has to be applied here that is coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square should be 0. This is very very important. So, coefficient of x square means this one, coefficient of y square is this one. So, let us add these two and equate it to 0. So, that means 2 plus 2 by k minus 1 by k square plus 3 minus 2 by k minus 4 by k square equals to 0. So, let it be simplified here plus 2 by k minus 2 by k cancel. We have 2 plus 3 is 5 minus 4 by k square minus 1 by k square minus 5 by k square k square equals to 0. Now, let us find out the our required value this k the value of k. So, that means we have to simplify this one here k square is the LCM 5 k square minus 5 equals to 0 where k does not equal to 0 only providing this condition cross multiplication 5 k square minus 5 equals to 0 5 k square is equal to 5 Okay. What will be the case? k square value? Here k square is equal to 1, k equals to root 1 which equal to plus or minus 1. Therefore, k is equal to plus or minus 1. Okay. Have you followed this one? I hope you might have followed this question. This is very very important question practice this type of questions from the any reference test book you have. This is also very important for competitive entrance examinations also.